Welcome to this video. This is about how to structure a code and it will be perhaps not seem so significant now when you start working with if-then statements which we'll cover in the next video. It will be very significant. I'm going to open up Notepad++ and remove the program I was currently working on. And I'm going to set my language equal to batch. I'm going to say at echo off as we always start. You don't have to, but it makes it look a lot better when it runs. And I'm going to start off by having some code. Perhaps something like echo hello, how are you? And then, and before I do that, I'm going to add a structure or what's called a page. I'm going to call it page one. You can name a page almost anything you want. I'm going to call this one page two. This one page three. And then I'm going to have a go to command. And if I say go to three, just like this, then it says I'm going to look for page three. And this colon right here means, oh, this is page three. So then I come out here and I say echo you are at page three. Go to two. And then on page two, I can say, you are at echo. You are at page two. Echo goodbye. I'm going to clear the screen after each page. I'll have exit. So if I create this file using the go to command, then if we were to read the code, and I should probably say pause so we can keep up and it doesn't execute everything. In fact, I'll show you what it looks like if I run it without a pause. <laughs> it goes through the code so fast you can't even read it. So I'll say pause, pause, no, oh. pause, pause. Now with a pause, hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? And we want to bypass two and go to page three. So I'm going to go to three. And we're on page three. And then I pause, and this is our pause right here, and I read go to two, and it takes me up to a new line of code. You are at page two. Goodbye. So the go to command allows you to group code together, and it will allow you to call certain parts of code without executing, without executing other parts of code. This is very useful in um, conditions like if-then statements where you need the user to make a decision or you would need the program to make a decision all by itself and not do some things and do other things. So this is essential to know for the next video. Hope you found this helpful. If it, uh, if it is helpful, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me too. And I'll catch you next time.